In this video, I'm going to be reviewing and demonstrating the Conrail Wide Vision Cupolo Cam Caboose from Lionel. And we're starting right now. Hi, I'm Owen. In these videos, I continue to build, expand, and improve my Lionel Polar Express layout. In addition to building, I also review new products. Just delivered today is this Conrail Wide Vision Cupolo Cam Caboose from Lionel. This is an O-Gage accessory and we're going to be taking a good close look at it. And you're going to want to stick around till the end of the video because we're going to look at some video taken by the cam in the caboose. If you enjoy reviews and demonstrations of new products and accessories for model railroading, you'll want to subscribe to this channel. In addition to subscribing, please consider clicking the thumbs up down below and liking this video, and drop me a comment down below and let me know what you think and what videos you'd like to see in the future. We'll start by getting this caboose out of the box from Lionel. And there it is. This is the caboose, and the camera is here in the cupola. You can see it facing forward. On this side, in the cupola, there's a figure seated. That would be one of the brakemen or trainmen that are operating this train. But for now, we're going to concentrate on taking a good close look at it. One of the things that I'm not real happy about right off the bat is that Lionel includes this disc, this CD, in order to load software onto your Mac or PC to operate and receive the information coming from the camera. Problem with this is that for an awful lot of us, we no longer have CD drives. This is kind of obsolete technology. I don't know if Lionel has this available for a download. I'm going to be checking with them and finding out because if I can't download it, I don't know how I'm going to get this onto my, my Mac. Now one of the chores that I'm going to have to do without putting off is reading this manual. Because this is a Wi-Fi camera, I have to be able to receive that Wi-Fi signal somewhere and I have to be able to save the video that comes from it if I want to use it and show it to you. So. I need to get this read through and see what it has to say. So that's my first task and before we go any further, I'm going to take time out and do that. Right now. Let's take a close look at this new Conrail caboose with the wide view camera in the cupola. It is pretty attractive looking. You can uh, get a close look at it as I move the camera up closer. Go in a little bit closer and you can see that catwalk that goes across the roof, the ladders on each end come up to it, and the uh, nameplate and the other load capacity information, the road number, are all uh, picked out quite nicely in white, and the Conrail logo uh, is nicely picked out in white. The stairs that go up and down to the platforms on the front and rear of the caboose are mesh and look very authentic. The uh, platforms are mesh also, look very authentic. The rear of the caboose features a light, LED light. The LED lights on the inside plus the LED light on the outside are quite attractive. There's another figure in this back window. I'm going to roll back just a little bit and let you get a peek at him. You can see there's a figure inside that window as well. So we've got two figures inside. Well, let's get a look at what this caboose looks like in motion on the railroad. And away we go. attractive piece of rolling stock I think. I'm, I'm uh, pleased with the appearance. I think it's going to be a, a nice addition just in terms of appearance alone.
You see the LED light on the front as it goes by, the figure in the cupola, and the LED light on the back. That's uh, all around, I think, a pretty attractive piece of rolling stock. And uh, from the appearance standpoint, I'm quite pleased with it. Uh, we'll have to wait and see how the video works. And we'll do that uh, a little bit later in this video. But the caboose itself looks good, looks nice as part of this train. Even though it's not a Conrail train, uh, I think that caboose is still pretty attractive. We'll let it come around here and then we'll pause it and then we'll see if we can shoot some video. Good looking piece of rolling stock. Well, it's time to go ahead and start shooting some video from the Cupolo cam on the Conrail caboose. We're going to do that and that will be coming up next. Now, there is no microphone on that camera in the caboose, so it's going to be silent. The first little segment that we'll see will be in standard definition and then we'll go to high definition for the next segment. So there will be a couple of videos. They'll be silent. I'm going to do some captioning on them as we go. Well, this on. is the point in the video where we should be cutting to the video that was shot using the cam in the cupola of the caboose. However, Lionel is using some non North American format for the video, and I'm unable to get it to upload. Uh, I can view it in my editing software, but I can't get it to upload to either to save to my Mac or to be able to upload to YouTube. So unfortunately, until I can get hold of Lionel and find out how to fix this, I can't show you the video. Uh, the video is not bad. It's uh, pretty good. Not really perfect, but not bad. However, I can't show it to you until I can get hold of Lionel and find out how to change the format or how to convert it into a North American video format. So I'm sorry, but you're stuck with just my ending right now. Please uh, subscribe to this channel if you like videos that review Lionel train equipment, rolling stock accessories, and also the accessories from other manufacturers. So, and also please click the thumbs up down below and like this video and share it on social media or with anyone else you know that may be into model railroading. Until next time, thanks for watching.